I decided to buy Iman Ghazi's online course and get started with an agency to answer the internet's two most important questions about their 22 year old Russian millionaire. Number one, is he just another internet fraud marketer? And number two, is the agency navigator course actually worth the one and a half thousand dollar price tag? Okay, so I just bought Iman Ghazi's course. After buying the course, we spent the next few days watching hours and hours of his video content, making notes on a couple of things like Iman Ghazi's principles for success and after six days of Iman Ghazi and his course. Okay, so we are now done with the course and it's a pretty good course. To summarize the first half of what Iman Ghazi suggests that we do, we need to go ahead, pick a niche, pick a service, and then get so good at that service that we're going to make our way to $10,000 a month. And so let's get into how my agency is actually structured. For the niche, I wanted to be specific but not basic. So I went with finance YouTube channels. As for the service I'm going to be going for, I'm going to be getting finance YouTube channels more views, which should in turn lead to them making a lot more money. And as for how much I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna charge these guys about a thousand dollars and yeah, that should work. But this was the easy part, setting everything up. Now it's time for the much harder part, actually getting a client to give me a thousand dollars for my service. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy. You see, Iman Gazi's course actually did have a ton of value. And I'm actually gonna drop two of the six principles that Iman Gazi uses whenever he's starting an agency business. And number one was important to hear whenever I was talking to like new customers on Zoom. It allowed for me to actually deal with people who are much more successful than I am and not sound like a huge imposter. Because I knew that I had something that the client needed. One of the most important principles is to always remember that the client needs you more than you need them. Okay, so finding clients is just not easy. We've literally sent about 10 looms to different clients and also sent about like 25 different emails to YouTubers in the finance niche, basically just looking for clients. And we follow the rules that Iman Gazi preaches in the course. The main one being don't sell the service yet, simply look to sell the meeting. And once you're in that meeting, then you can sell the service. Because the alternative would just drive customers away. So yeah, we kept sending in more and more emails to potential clients, but we didn't seem to be getting any real results. We did get some replies, but no clients and no meetings booked. This might have discouraged me, but it actually didn't because I, I kind of knew that with time we would eventually get a meeting. So if you are a struggling agency owner, Iman Ghazi's second principle is really important because it actually forces you to realize something really crucial. You need to remember that there are college students right now who are gonna be sleeping in a dorm room, writing exams that they don't want to write. And by the end of the week, simply by sending an email to the right customer, they will get an invoice for $2,000. And so always remember Iman's principle, which is that you are always just one client away from living the life you want. And just like Iman had said, I guess, we were one client away and we went from zero meetings booked to having a single meeting on Friday afternoon with a client and a finance YouTuber who wanted to get some YouTube retention advice and consulting advice from me and my agency. But in all transparency, I have to tell you guys something important about how we were able to book that meeting. Okay, so I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is obviously that we were able to book a client and the bad news is that we had to leverage our YouTube channel with 60,000 subscribers to actually get that client to trust us. I initially wanted to start and do this course without having to leverage any of my YouTube channels, but I'm realizing now that if I do that, it is gonna take a lot longer to actually get a meeting with the client. So yeah, I just wanted to be transparent about everything, but now let's go on to the meeting and actually try to close this client and get our $1,000 paycheck. Now we needed to go ahead and actually close the client and as Iman Ghazi says, sell him on the service without sounding like a salesman. We were like an hour away from making this call and trying to close this client. And I still needed the question answered, is Iman Ghazi a fraud marketer peddling a terrible course? And to answer the question, maybe. I mean, it depends. Iman Ghazi's course is actually not bad at all. I mean, it's got tons of value, hours and hours of content. Now, I will admit that 20 plus hours of that content is simply him talking about mindset and that the other 20 hours is actually him telling you how to build an agency, even though it might not be really specific on every single detail you'll need with starting an agency. So yeah, if you were purely looking to buy his course to learn how to start an agency and that's all you wanted, then yeah, the price tag just wouldn't make sense. But you have to realize, Iman Ghazi's Agency Navigator course is not just a course, it's a lot more than that. I mean, when I was personally building my agency for this video, there were guys who were making $10,000 per month who were literally helping me out when I was asking questions on lead generation.
duration. So in terms of just pure course value, I would say that's about $500. But in terms of the community of high profile, high net worth individuals who you can actually talk to about starting an agency, yeah, Iman Gaji's course might just be worth the extra $1,000. But yeah, as for the meeting, we were able to close the client and get two booked consultations at $500. And it was pretty easy to close the client because honestly, we had like five times more subscribers and like four times more views than him. And I made him believe that I could get him from 10 to 50,000 subscribers within the next six months. And after running the numbers, really, it was just a no brainer. And pretty much that's it. Watch this video to see how I made $150,000 in my first year doing Shopify dropshipping.